There are a lot of different connected home products on the market today. But what do you do when you have a product that you want to connect to your connected home ecosystem? Well, AJ and I are going to look at a product that does just that. It's from Belkin. It's called their Wemo Maker. If you take a look here, I've got the Maker in my hand. It's about the size of a deck of cards or not much bigger than that. And it's got a single antenna coming out the top. That's to connect to your Wi-Fi um, antenna. If I flip it around and we look at the back here, you're going to see a number of different connections. These are wire connections that you're going to make. There's a relay, which is essentially a circuit breaker on or off, and then there's also a sensor port as well. Let's say that you've got an old style garage system that's in your home garage, and uh, it runs on one of these really simple low voltage systems. Well, what you can do is you can pull off the, the box that's on the wall and simply put the little two um, wires into the back of the maker, connect your app to it, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and now you've got an on or off, open or close for your garage door attached to your phone. What the sensors allow you to do, for example, a magnetic sensor, is that I could have the garage door open up, see whether or not the magnet's attached, and actually tell me that the door has actually been left open. If you're gonna use the Wemo Maker, you're gonna have to have some type of electrical background because you're gonna be doing some wiring. So if you're kind of a hobbyist and you like to tinker, this is the product for you to especially make stuff that isn't part of the connected home suddenly inside your connected home ecosystem. Here it is, the Wemo Maker. Mm -hmm.